controlling the operation of ship blocks tackles and purchases care and overhauling of blocks regularly lubricate all moving parts as per the greasing schedule when greasing ensure that all the old grease comes out if the old grease does not come out it hardens up and this will prevent free rotation of the sheaves which in turn will damage the wire and the axle pin never throw the block handle it with care ensure the correct swl of block is used check rigging plan blocks should be overhauled as per the planned maintenance schedule or when the need is required remove split pin check nut and then remove axle pin slip out all the sheaves remove all dry grease rust extra clean the cheeks of the block and the sheaves using kerosene and cotton rags free the swivel arrangement of the block check the binding straps for fractures or corrosion Inspect the lip of the sheaves to ensure that the wire does not slip from the sheave. Check for cracks in the sheaves. If the block has more than one sheave, check the gap between the lips of all the sheaves are uniform. Excessive gap between the lips will cause play in the wire, which in turn will lead to wear down. Change the sheaves if there is damage to it or excessive play on the wire. If the gap between the sheave and the cheek plate is excessive then the wire can get fouled between it. During cargo operations such an incident will stop the full operations. Change the block if necessary. Information punched in blocks. Safe working loads SWL of block A when used as an upper block and B when used as a lower block. size of rope or wire for use with the block certificate number date of certificate of testing the block purchases and tackles a purchase is a mechanical device by means of which an applied pull or force is increased by a combination of blocks or pulleys rove with rope or chain a tackle is a purchase consisting of a rope passing through two or more blocks in such a way that any pull applied to its hauling part is increased by an amount depending on the number of sheaves in the blocks and the manner in which the rope is roved through them parts of a tackle the blocks of a tackle are termed the standing block and moving block and the rope roved through them is called the fall which has its standing running and hauling parts mechanical advantage the amount by which the pull on the hauling part is multiplied by the tackle is called its mechanical advantage if the friction is disregarded this is equal to the number of parts of the fall at the moving block for example in the above figure there are two parts at the moving block therefore the mechanical advantage is 2 In other words a pull on the hauling part of 50 kg if friction was disregarded would hold a weight of 100 kg in actual practice the friction does reduce the mechanical advantage considerably raving a tackle to advantage and to disadvantage the number of parts of the moving block and therefore the mechanical advantage is always greater when the hauling part comes away from the moving block and such a tackle is said to be roved to advantage conversely a tackle in which the hauling part comes away from the standing block is said to be roved to disadvantage where practicable always rig the tackle so that the hauling part leads from the moving block tackles in common use single whip this is simply a rope roved through a tail block with a single sheave no power is gained it merely acts as a lead block double whip the power gained is twice that of single whip to double up a single whip reeve the standing part through a hook block and make the end fast alongside a tail block gun tackle consists of two single hook blocks and is used on cargo ships to lift heavier weights than normal but within safe working load limits power gained is two or three times handy billy a double block with a tail and a single hook block to which the standing part is made fast this gives a power gain of 3 to 4 times luff tackle 
The same as Handy Billy but has two hook blocks power gained is three to four times. Two fold purchases. Two double blocks power gained is four when used to disadvantage and five when rove to advantage. Three fold purchases. Two three fold blocks are used and power gained is six or seven times. Used for heavy lift derricks. With heavier lifting gear heavier purchases with greater number of sheaves per block are used to lift up a greater weight minimizing the size of the wire used.